Welcome to the GeoJot Plus tutorial series. In this session, administrators will learn how to manage their field teams using the administrator's dashboard. Here we're assuming that you've already set up the GeoJot Plus app on the mobile devices and GeoJot Plus core on your desktops. Now there are several ways to access the administrator's dashboard. It's always going to be on the web. You can access it from your reseller's login page, or in this case we're going to show you from the Geospatial Experts uh, homepage. Up there at the top, you see the GeoJot Plus login. Click there, and you'll be brought to the login screen. Here you're going to enter in the email that you used to get your trial in the first place. You can find that email in the confirmation that was sent to you with the serial number that you used to set up the app and the core. So go ahead and log in. Here's the welcome page. It has links to more information about using GeoJot Plus. When you click on the Serial Members tab, you will see the serial numbers associated with your account. In this particular example, we've purchased one serial number, but it can be used on 50 different devices. So 50 different apps or 50 different desktops at the same time can use this one serial number. Right now, this screen shows that of the 50, five are currently being used for the app and only one is currently being used uh, in the desktop. To see who those five are, you can click on the Activations button up above. And here, you actually see all the different people who have ever downloaded the app. On the left-hand side, it shows their name and their, then their email. The name and email are the information that was entered when it was originally activated on either the app or core. The status shows whether they're currently active or deactivated. You can sort by clicking that button so that all the activated ones are at the top. So from here you can see whether they're active. You can also see the platform that they're using so you can tell what kind of device they're using it on. If you'd like to change someone's status, you can do so by clicking the edit button on the far right. So in this case we're going to change Stephanie's activation. Right now it shows that she's active. That means right now she can go launch GeoJot, take photos, and and all is good. When you click deactivate, you're essentially checking in the license, making it so that she won't be able to take photos right now, and you can now share this same activation with a different device. It could be on a different platform even. If she wants to use it again on her device, all she needs to do is click the activate button from the mobile device, and she'll be good to go. So this makes it really easy to share um, the activation across different devices and different staff at different times, and it can all be managed from the administrator's dashboard. That way if someone forgets to deactivate a license when they're done, you can do it, making it more available. Now let's say Stephanie has left your organization and you don't want her to activate this device um, again at all. That's when you click Disabled. Once it's disabled, if Stephanie launches the GeoJob app and tries to activate it, it simply won't work because that machine code is recognized in the activations page and it won't allow her to activate until you go in as the administrator and you change her status from disabled to either deactivated or active. Now, up at the top you can also change your account information. Right here, if you change the email, that will change your username. That's the same information. This is also where you can reset your password. And finally, if, you need, if you'd like to purchase GeoJot Plus or more activations of it, you can click on which level you'd like to purchase and fill out the uh, corresponding information about the number of licenses, how you'd like to pay, and your credit card information. If you'd rather use a purchase order, you can click the Contact Us screen and send the information to the dealer that you're working with. Thank you very much. This concludes our tutorial of managing your field users using the web-based administrative dashboard. We encourage you to review the other tutorials and learn more about GeoJot Plus's capacities. Thank you very much.